Hello love, how are you? My name is Javida Kanyi and thank you so much for joining me. Today we'll be talking about revenge. Revenge, revenge, revenge. When I was in high school, I would read a lot of books, not academic books, but story books, and do a lot of movies. And I got the aspect of revenge from books and movies. So as a grown up, I knew that if someone wronged me so much, I had revenge because it makes me one, feel better about the situation, and two, give this person exactly what they asked for. Right? So the first time I thought of revenging was when I got into a relationship and got cheated on in the relationship. And it hurt my pride so bad and I came up with ways on which I would revenge and ruin everything that he had been doing, you know, for a while, right? So number one was to make sure that the parents knew. I wasn't going to talk to this dude about it. No, at the approach, what have you been doing? Ah, me, sinisha ajua, kenya natika kujua. So what I did next was make sure the mom knew what he had done and then move on to our mutual friends. I highly believe at this point in my life that there's nothing like mutual friends because I do have friends, right? And if I'm dating someone else, obviously they will first and foremost be my friends and then now be his friends. So when he does something, I'll be told. But when I do something, it's very rare to find a friend that will tell them, right? And this was exactly such a scenario. So our mutual friends were mostly his friends who I, I had met uh, previously and we became friends, right? And innocently, I thought they didn't know. They'd be as shocked as I was. And they were, I think, three friends. I had gone on this whole paragraph of a rant and sent them to these three in individuals. And then one of them responded with, but I thought you guys broke up. That's why he was always bringing the other chicken. I'm like, <gasps> you know? And you didn't tell me, you didn't ask? And they're like, no, but like they, they are the one who said that you guys broke up. And I thought, wait, this is too much information. I was gonna tell you so that you see how bad he is. Kumbe to you, he's never gonna be bad. So why am I doing this? I blocked the one that responded. The other ones were like, oh, sorry, but unajua it happens. Ni normal kushare. And he did block, 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 block. So <laughs> as I'm trying to ring his reputation, I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt more and more and more. And one of the cousins that I'd actually reached out to was like oh no but see they're about to have a child together it made me feel worse about the situation it made me feel stupid and it didn't give me any of the pleasure that i was looking forward to you know when i was calling and texting i felt so good i felt i was doing something you know but afterwards after all that anger had calmed down i thought manze ulika fala we're being stupid but now i know better right and then this other scenario was with a family friend so this person had constantly um done things and thrown jabs my way for years and i always crossed my fingers and said Sampata, he will see so i got the perfect opportunity this was me as a grown-up i think the love story i was a baby i was young naive and stupid but this is me as a grown-up and i hadn't learned my lesson yet so i decided to revenge i acted as a very nice you know honest person and i approached this ninja with a certain story but this story was a lie it was a lie a lie a lie a lie through and through and because i've never lied to this person and Prior to this, I hadn't practiced my lying. I thought this would be a great kickstart to my acting career, you know? So I went ahead and created a story. This story was to get back at this person. You can't tell one lie and then leave it at that. Mm -mm. You have now to create a lie on top of that lie so that you don't get found out if you slipped the other lie. So it was a whole six months of acting classes. 
like I love calling them I was taking on the habit to use them against them but then again I was still taking on the habit did I become a professional liar during this six month period yes did I become a manipulative piece of shit yes would I do it again no so at this point he realized didn't tell me about it but went on a rampage telling other people that were close to me because he knew this story would eventually flow back to me he was so shocked <laughs> at my audacity but in the end i i didn't feel better about it i still believed he was a horrible person still do to today and I realized it was just better and easier for me to remove myself from that situation, regardless if it's family or not. Let karma do its job. You know why am I out here wasting my time, wasting my brain, becoming someone that I don't want to become, all because I was angry and I wanted this person to feel the anger, right? So dear love, what do we learn from this stupid story that I've just told you? One, it doesn't change anything. It won't. No matter how much you are hurt, revenge does not change anything. It won't change how you feel, imagine. Secondly, in your quest for revenge, I'm not going to tell you not to revenge, but in your quest for revenge, try to make sure that you do not become this person that you hate so much. And then three, nothing good will ever come out of it. And if you just hold on to who you are, and move on with your life that's the best revenge that you can ever give because you'll become a better person in the process so let's not act like karma or the devil who punishes other people for what they've done or who will punish other people I'm not even going to religion but you get my point right let's act like adults and stop being so bitter just move forward like I did, I have moved forward. I just thought it was crucial for me to share my mistakes for you to understand that it's not right, okay? And it doesn't make much of a difference. Sawa. Yeah, that is all Soul Scars is about. Learning from each other's mistakes. Yeah? I'll see you next time and thank you for watching. Bye.